Welcome to Electro Online. Now we're going to show you an example of the second rule being correct by simply plugging in what we have for A and B vectors and see if the left side does indeed equal the right side. So we're going to start with the left side and let's start with A cross B. So A cross B is equal to, well, we need an X, a Y, and a Z unit vectors. Now the components for A are minus Y, X, and 0. The components for B are 0, Y, and 0. That's a fairly easy cross product to work with. Lots of zeros. We like that. X unit vector times X times 0 minus 0 times Y. That would be 0. Minus Y unit vector times minus Y times 0, 0 times 0. That's 0. And plus Z unit vector times here we have minus y times y, that's a minus y squared, plus 0 because x times 0 is 0. So we end up with minus y squared in the z direction. So that's the product of vector a and vector b via the cross product. Okay, now we're going to take the gradient, oh, not the gradient, the divergence of that. So the divergence of a cross b. Remember, that gives us a scalar quantity. We're going to take the x, y, and z components, and we're going to take the partial derivative uh, with respect to x, with respect to y, and with respect to z. So let me show what that looks like. So that's the partial with respect to x times the x component, which is 0, plus the partial with respect to y times the y component, which is 0, plus the partial with respect to z of the z component, which is a minus y squared. Now the partial with respect to z of minus y squared is 0. So we get 0 for that result. That means the left side is equal to 0. Which means the right side better be 0 for that rule to be correct. All right, let's first take the curl of A. So now we're going to do the right side. We're going to begin by the first term on the right side, which start with the curl of A. So the curl of A is equal to, we have x, y, and z unit vectors, the partial with respect to x, the partial with respect to y, and the partial with respect to z. Make this a little bit longer. And now we need to put the components for A, which is minus y, which is uh, x, and which is 0. All right. How do we do that? Well, first of all, x unit vector times the partial with respect to y of 0, that's 0, and the partial with respect to z of x, that's 0, minus y unit vector. And so we have the partial of x with respect to 0, the partial of z, the partial with respect to z of minus y, that's also 0, and then plus the z unit vector, and here we get the partial of x with respect to x, that is 1, minus the partial of y, uh, the partial with respect to y of minus y, that's a minus one, a one, but times a minus, that becomes plus one. So this ends up being two in the z direction. All right, so now we're going to take the product between b and that curl. So it's a dot product between vector b and the curl. So vector b dotted with the curl of a is equal to the x component of b, there's no x component, times the x component of the curl, plus the y component of b, which is y, times the y component of the curl, which is 0, plus the z component of b, which is 0, times the z component of the curl, which is 2. But notice, it's 0 everywhere, so this is equal to 0, which means that the first term on the right side also equals 0. So far, so good. All we need to show is that that's equal to zero, and we have a, a show, at least, an example where that rule does work. So now we need the curl of B. The curl of B is equal to x, y, and z unit vector, the partial with respect to x, the partial with respect to y, and the partial with respect to z. Notice by doing all these example problems, we're beginning to get quite proficient I've taken the diversions, I've taken the curl, and taken the, um, taken the gradient, right? So, therefore, it's a good idea to do lots of examples like this. 0, y, and 0 for the b vector, those are the components of b. 
And so this is equal to x unit vector times, that would be uh, 0 times 0, so that would be 0, minus y unit vector. Notice we have this times this, this times this, that's 0, and plus the z unit vector, z unit vector that is this times this, which is 0, this times this, which is 0. It looks like the curl for vector b is equal to 0. And then, of course, if we do the dot product of a times 0, the dot product of a times the 0 vector, that is also equal to 0, so we don't have to work that one out. And that means the second term is equal to 0 as well. 0 equals 0. That shows that the rule at least works in this particular example, but the example at least shows you how to apply that rule and how it works. And that is how it's done. That makes for a wrap. Yep. Whew. 21. We did it.